Don't leave, lead. Hey guys, it's been a long time since I've done a video. A lot of things have happened, both in my life and my husband's life, my family's life, um, but also uh, kind of globally. Um, this whole thing with the Catholic Church, and it just, it makes me very, very sad. It does not take away at all from my faith. Um, I hold very dear to my heart. I am a Catholic through and through, baptized, um, cradle to grave as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's what I was raised on, but it's also what I believe. In any organization, there is good and bad. There are good and bad people. There are good and bad decisions that are made by good and bad people. Um, we're not infallible. And, and then I say we because the Catholic Church is just the body of Christ. It's made up of all of us. The abusers and the abused and so we we like struggle together um what what sins affect one person within the body of christ affect the other that's absolutely scriptural um and i know i feel it i know my husband who is a deacon feels it um there's a lot of misinformation that's out there i've seen an awful lot of hatred on facebook um, it's the issues like really turned a lot of people against each other and it's caused a lot of people to leave the church I totally understand I don't agree with it but I understand their reasoning I also think for some people it's a cop-out I think people have been waiting for a reason to leave the church because um, for whatever reason um, yeah they've chosen to do so and I think they think this is an opportune time hey let's blame blame our shortcomings on the church and on other people so they leave what i would say when i've heard a lot of people say is don't leave lead step up step up to the plate you're part of this you're part of the body of christ you have something to give um it's like when you're a part of a household everybody has chores to do um you may not like those chores but you do them anyways because you're part of a family you're part of a house of a home and you want to make it a home you want to make it a place that is um, loving and that is hospitable and that is livable and comfortable and safe and that's what our church should be I know it's not that right now for a lot of people so I'm asking and I think a lot of people are asking too and saying to people who are considering leaving or just kind of sitting back and being like yeah, well, that bishop sucks, and that priest is a pedophile, and that guy is probably X, Y, and Z. You know, instead of sitting there and doing that, which is absolutely not productive, step up. How can you use your gifts to make the church a home for all of us? Um, so that's my plea. That's what I'm putting out there. It's going to be a real short video. Um, in the meantime, I just wanted to share also with you that... Um, Jerry and I took two weeks. We just got back from a two-week trip to Israel. We visited Jerusalem. We went up to the Sea of Galilee and um, visited Capernaum and Nazareth. We went to Haifa um, to visit the cave of Elijah. We went down to Bethlehem. That was crazy. Um, so we kind of went all over. It was a pilgrimage of sorts. We did not go with a travel agency. We did not go with a tour company. We didn't go with a group. We went on our own. We're kind of like full immersion people like we don't know the culture we don't know your language but we want to jump right in there and see what it's like to live as um, somebody who is living in Israel learn an awful lot it was um, awesome yeah so I think I took probably 1600 photographs or something like that quite a few videos which were absolutely horrible because a lot of it was done while we were on the road and my camera was bouncing. There's a lot of unusable footage which really stinks. Um, a lot of things are probably going to have to voice over because Jerry and I didn't, like by the time we got home to our apartment in the evening, um, we were so tired that we just didn't have an ounce of energy to put into um, 
talking to the camera, which I feel really, really bad about. I wish we would have done that, but we didn't. So we'll have to make do. And then we, so anyways, to kind of wrap all of this up, those are my thoughts on the abuse in the church. Um, one, we're all fallible. Two, we're part of this family that sometimes doesn't get along together, sometimes hurts each other. I am not taking away from that. Um, we need to hold each other up. We need to pray for each other. We need to increase our own prayer life. And we need to step up to the plate. And if you're not, and if we're not, and I'm not doing something for the body of Christ and for my church, then it's it's time to start doing that. So that being said, um, let's see what else. Please share this with your friends. And the biggest thing that you can do is to subscribe. Um, that really helps grow the channel and it will help get the word out. And especially if you share this video with others um, so that we can keep making videos and I want to share Jerusalem with you guys. So that'll be the next thing. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, bye.